Hey, what's up, guys? JP with the Bearded Demopolis. Just want to do a little bit of a rant on advocacy and things of that nature. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. Probably am because I'm taking the time to talk about it. <sighs> we all know that it's extremely important to be involved in advocacy. Um, spending your dollars at stores, vape shops that promote advocacy and donate regularly to advocacy groups, um, to the Right to Be Smoke Free lawsuit, to CASA, to other organizations that promote advocating for our vaping rights. And that's all great. Um, I just don't know why we're not, as an industry, going for a more organized effort with other industries that are being threatened by these FDA deeming regs. Probably get lambasted for this, or crucified, whatever. Um, but the cigar and pipe industry is also being hammered by big tobacco, big government, big pharma, and all these other organizations that are that are a part of trying to get our industries wiped out because it damages their profits. And I just I. I know that we are, we advocate for a safer alternative to traditional tobacco, which includes pipes, includes cigars. But why aren't these <clears throat> our three industries banding together to fight these unfair regulations from the government? That it basically it's killing small businesses. I'm lucky to be in the area that I live and we have a ton of vape shops in, in Louisville and in the Louisville area. Um, I mean, vaping is, is a booming industry here. Um, I mean, we've, we've got national chains like Sapphire Vapor and Avail Vapor that are coming here because the industry is so huge. Now, I, I know we don't advocate for smoking. Which we can leave all that, why can't we leave all that at the door and band together with the cigar industry and the pipe industry who've been in this, in this game longer than we have? Uh, I mean, honestly, pipes and cigars have been around longer than vaping and probably will be around after vaping if it peters out, which I hope it doesn't because it's a safer alternative to smoking combustible tobacco. But if you really want to look at it from an objective point of view, cigars and pipes while they are still you know smoking and still help cause cancer and you know other illnesses like chronic uh, COPD bronchitis all of these negative things they can still affect that but really they're still way less dangerous than traditional combustible cigarettes that are, are being given basically essentially a free pass here because Everything has been on the market since before the predicate day. So why don't we band together with some other industries and combine our efforts? Because we really all want the same thing. We all want to be able to continue on our merry way and continue selling products that otherwise wouldn't be on the market. I mean, I'm, I'm a vapor. I vape. I, I, would like, I like to enjoy an occasional cigar, so sue me if, I, if that's terrible. I mean, it's I'm still way healthier than when I'm smoking. Another thing, why do we need so many trade organizations? You know, why do we need so many adv advocacy groups? We should, you know, band some of these together into one group. I mean, if I'm going to give my money to anybody, I'm sure I can give on the local level to the Kentucky Smoke Free Association, but maybe my money would be better spent giving it, making a donation to the Right to Be Smoke Free Association in their lawsuit effort, in their litigation efforts, or maybe I would be better off to donate money to CASA for their consumer efforts to promote 
that this is healthier than smoking. I, I, I really just, I don't know. That's just some things that have been kind of on my mind, especially the part about, you know, trying to combine efforts with two other industries that are being equally as threatened as we are with extinction. I mean, uh, the cigar industry and the pipe industry, a lot of these companies are small companies. They're small tobacconist shops that are like small cigar shops. We have several of those here in the area as well. I mean, they, they could be wiped off the planet, off the planet and out of the free market just because of these demon regulations too. So why don't we just consolidate our efforts and, you know, be a bigger voice than we are? You know, we're, we're just a small faction of, of people. And we want to grow our numbers, which is why we advocate, which is why we educate people on, on these things as well. But come on, guys. Let's, let's really fight for this. Let's really fight for this. Let's put some differences aside. Let's put some differences aside. And we may have to side with tobacco, but not big tobacco. I mean, these are all, we're all small business, you know, based things here. I mean, let's just wake up. Let's wake up to it, I guess is what, what I'm saying. And, you know, keep pushing for advocacy because it's very important. I don't want this to go away. I'm just getting lung functionality back. I mean, I'm a fat ass. I need to exercise. And it's hard to exercise when I can't hold my breath because I've been smoking cigarettes for, you know, 20 fucking years. 20 fucking years. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. If you got something to weigh in, weigh in. Um, advocacy links down there, guys. Um, yeah, let's 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 do something so we can keep on vaping. Until the next time, take care.